hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. I thought, well, I had a few comments and I mentioned about when I did, the, when I shared this, um, when I was working on this page, I did mention the hair and people really liked the way that the hair came out and I said I would film how I did it because it was really easy. It was a little bit of a cheat um, because I did use Spectrum Noir um, markers and I did sort of stick to the colour, like colour blend system. Which in all honesty makes things much, much easier. Um, and, I th and I thought I would just jump on and show you how I did it. So... I am going to be working on the Mystic Art Mirrors page because I do love this hair. Um, the style of hair that is drawn. I'm going to use the Fairy Topia Special. Um, I'm hoping it works the same on this paper, but we shall see. I thought we would use this beautiful, beautiful page. It's image 18. Um, and I used, as I've already said, Spectrum Noir. So on the other hair that I really liked, on that other picture, I used... Um, the deep purple colour system. So I used three markers and I used literally the light, the medium and the dark. So I can see that they're all the same family because they're DP um, and it's one, two and three. So I based everything in one, then I added some shadow with two and then I added a darker shadow with three. So I'm going to stick to um, a simil that similar style. Um, or that similar technique and I thought I would use the well there's different reason there's different sorry products but so I would normally use the illustrator markers because they've got a brush tip and I do really really like these um, and I was going to go for a blue hairstyle so I've used the true blue um, I've got periwinkle which is the lightest denim which is the mid and true blue which is the darkest out of these it obviously goes all the way up um, and with ultramarine being very dark, I'm not sure how how high the colour system goes. I need to um, I need to have a look really, but I do really really like these markers. But then I wasn't really convinced with a blue hair. She's just not saying blue hair to me. So I'm going to go for a jade green. So, um, if you haven't seen these before, I absolutely love these pens. Um, these are also Spectrum Noir. They're the tri-blend markers, so they come in the family, the colour family, and this is the jade green one. Um, and you can see it has light, mid and dark, and again, it just uses that same colour system. So obviously they blend effortlessly together, and these ones come in a bullet tip. Now, I've got a few of these, but I also have a couple of these, um, which I don't use very often, and I forgot about them, so I'm going to use them in this video and possibly get some more but these are the tri blend brush markers so i do love a brush nib um and these were a three pack and they are green turquoise blend blue turquoise blend and pink violet blend which i completely forgot i had this one but we are going to use green turquoise and i am going to match it with on here it's gt1 which is actually the ice green so i'm going to base everything for speed goodness me in um the illustrator marker now they use the same this is not an advert at all by the way i just genuinely do really really like the spectrum noir products and the fact that you can fill them up so cost effectively is even better because i think when it when you look at it it's like 50p a pen so it's a refill a pen for 50p i'm there for that so i'm going to use the chisel tip on the classic to base all of the hair in um, ice green which is the green turquoise blend I said I was going to use the jade green but that's this one um I do really like this one as well but I'm going for this one to give a more of a, a lighter look so the first thing I'm going to do is base everything in the lightest colour And this is like kind of like a bit of a a cheat way. So for me, when I'm struggling like time wise in the week, but I want to do a bit of colouring, um, and I can't really be bothered getting all the pencils out or sitting and shading her. This is kind of my cheat, speedy way of doing it. Um, I 
And I always thought I preferred a brush tip, but for covering large areas of paper and doing it quite quickly, I'm really at the minute just really enjoying the chisel tips. That's why I went and bought some more of the what we call what the the classic markers. Got a horrible feeling that this ink is running out. That bloody not. Um, I think this paper just absolutely drinks it up though. But it is the base, so I'm not that fussed, if I'm being honest. Also, with a chisel tip, you just get a lot of colour down fast. But I love this colour. Just think, oh, this is from the set that I bought last week when I went to get everyone out with my ink uh, skin tone and the ink to refill it is out of stock at the minute. So I just went and bought a new set. So I went to the range, but didn't actually have them. So I come away with a blue set, which had the this, this, this colour in it with the darker and the darker still. So it was the G tip, which you're going to see in a minute in this tri-blend brush, but in separate markers. Um, and it also come with um, some blues, like tealy blues. Might be blue turquoise family, I think. But I do find these really, really simple to kind of understand you know with the like code plus i like the fact that whether it's a classic an illustrator i'm assuming the tri blends can be refilled i'll have to look into that um but they all have the same name and they all use the same ink so if say for example this ran out um I'm assuming I can fill this up and this. Is it? No, that's not the right one. But if I had the tri blending this as well, like the bullet tip and the brush and this run out, I could fill it all with the same ink. So it's a winner that for me. And they're not that expensive, I don't think. Like I picked up a six set from the range last week for. It was six ninety nine. Making a bit of a mess of this because I'm rushing. I don't want to. I don't really want to speed it up. Um, Because I know a lot of people aren't, don't really like that. Um, but I'm also conscious that I don't want to spend absolutely ages just blocking out this. But I love this colour. Really enjoying markers at the minute as you'll have seen from my completed pages, I think. Mm. Nearly every page but one, I think, was a marker and pencil page this month. Go through phases. So I'll use loads of markers. And then I'll use none for months. But I think this, just because I've been, I've had like a busy month. This is the older 
chlorine hair from paper so the, the markers are drying quite nice on this um i definitely need to try the newer one because i had a bit of a bit of a streaky moment when i did the was it gothic fantasy which is obviously on the newer paper um just very very absorbent really and streaked very quickly but this is drying lovely So I would normally base like this hair, like this, in one flat colour and then add in the shadows with pencil. I do quite like doing, working like that to be honest, but I just liked, um, I'm going to swap just for this bit to the brush pen, which is the exact same colour, it is GT1. Um, but I did kind of like the effect on the Candies and Cream Mermaid one, which is just really nice. So that's another good thing about these you can swap and change depending on what you're doing you know because the colors the same like i'm coloring over that and it it is exactly the same color just obviously just going darker because it is wet and it's another layer um I have been looking at because they sell the tri-blend brushes in a much bigger they sell 248 sets and I keep looking at them and I'm like oh I do really like them I love how easy they are to blend um and I do love working with a brush nib so they might get added to the ridiculous set to be fair I've got both too many left Okay, so there we have the base layer done in the lightest colour and that was Ice Green GT1. So I'm going to go in now and start adding in, <coughs> excuse me, the shadows. And I'm going to use the tri-blend brush because I have, I've genuinely don't think I've used them. That's what I've completely forgot that I had them in the beautiful colours. Um, so that's what caught my eye. So I'm going to use the mid, which is GT2, which is aquamarine. And the only thing you need to be careful of is remembering which, which way around the colour goes. And I just literally put it at the tips and then... Go over it again. This is probably teaching so many of you. Oops. How to suck eggs, but people did ask. And I do love this book. So I just got back over with the mid. And obviously because it's a brush. It feathers out quite nice. 
so you don't really need to worry about blending in. But just where that darker is. I've gotten quite sure I'll zoom us in. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful page. And I'm just swapping between the mid. And the dark. And just leaving really just a tiny bit of that base layer just in the middle as a, a really small highlight if you can just see um but that is actually the beauty of these markers like the the work is actually done for you because you don't need to worry about what I mean, I know obviously core picks and things like that, um, and obviously pro markers. I know they all have like a colour system. Um, I suppose all markers do, don't they? But I'll be completely honest, I, I don't really get it. This is the easiest easiest one for me, I think, just because it's, it's simple. Obviously, it has the, the name. And the number, I know that one is, is the lightest. And obviously these, look how cute that is for a little marker. And then just that bit where it's gone up a little bit higher. I would just add that lighter tone in. This is going to be a lovely hair colour. I'm feeling this. Feeling it. So I might not do it all, obviously. I don't want this to be a super, super long, boring video. But once you've sort of seen a couple, it is like really easy to do. And it looks... Obviously wicked when it's done. Um, What I might do is finish and then just show the finished at the end of the video, we'll see. But obviously, the like, only thing you need to be careful of is you are absolutely saturating this paper. So luckily this is quite good for, I mean, it's bled a little bit, but that's purely where I've just gone out of the lines and the line art on this is pretty thick so that in itself is a bit of a blessing and obviously you can just when it dries you can see you know if you might need to add a little bit more it's going to dry lighter obviously than it is but i'm quite feeling it i'm liking it it's just a case of work. I just work section by section until I get all of this bit done. I'll come down here. Um, I am quite normally quite sporadic and I'll do a bit up here and a bit down here. And a b I'm a nightmare, let's be honest. Um, I think sometimes that's when I struggle with like a background because I'll literally be all over the shop. I don't really work quite quite logical <laughs> spang it on hope for the best i'm just going to switch to the light one i'll also be absolutely covered in ink by the end of this because all the lids are off but actually it's kind of reminding me why i do love a brush nib prop's going to price up those um so basically they come in 248 sets and so do the other ones, the other um the other tri blends. I think there's a almost like a darker 
darker tone one and then a lighter tone one. But I am really liking them. The thing with this hair is oh, um, almost trying to work out where your shadows are going to go on you. But then what I will do with this is probably add some glitter, some metallic maybe. I really like this fit, this fit worked out really, really well. I'm struggling to fit you on because I'm, I've am zoomed in so much. Oh, there we go, just brushed, brushed the nib right across my finger there. This is a good, good, good hair colour. I am feeling this one. That just needs a little bit of blending out a little bit. It looked a bit harsh. We'll do this bit here. I do find a brush is just perfect for working on the hair because it lifts itself. So it almost does your blending for you and probably won't use any pencil on this I'm just going to leave it as it is um, I just, just have to be careful going off with that lighter because it does like almost bleach it out a little I just feeling that this bit could be darker. Just adding a tiny bit in. But obviously as it dries it is lighter. But yeah, I think I might find out whether these can be filled. I think they probably can. Maybe, not sure. I'm assuming if you can, then it's not going to have much ink in because this must be two. This must be two pens, maybe, whereas because I don't know where the ink would be. That's what I'm going to find out this afternoon. I do love a turquoise teal. It's definitely up there as one of my favourite colours. It's kind of the, if I'm buying open stock or something of like pencils or whatever, it tends to be they like the pencils and the pens that I go for first. I think with my light fats, light fats, my light fasts, that was like the the the. the I had that like range of colours first because I'm I'm just kind of drawn to them for some reason. Oop. But you can you can see on the back like how. It's 
that tray today. I'm doing it. That looks cool, doesn't it? But again, this probably, whether this is the right way of doing it or not, this is just how I do it. So it's, I'm not really going to say it's tutorial because it's not, because I'll be completely honest, it's the pens that are doing the work. I am just sort of doing my little thing that I do. But people did ask how I did it. So here we are. And any excuse to work in this book. I am there for it because I absolutely love it. It would be interesting to do actually if I if I do eventually get this set of these because I'm not gonna lie I'm actually really enjoying using them completely forgot I had them I'll be honest I've completely forgot about my eye um, spectrum noir markers because they've just been in a tub um, but since I've got the like storage system thing. I got it free with the Bought Pry collection of markers. Um, and I thought it come with one tray to fit the 12 markers in. Not a full system. So I've now got the majority of them out on my desk. Um, but could maybe do the same with these because I feel like I would definitely be drawn more to them as opposed to like I would grab my artisans because they're in a box and I can see exactly what's there. But there we go, I'm going to zoom us out just a little bit so we can see. Her is looking fab. I'm going to possibly just... darken this up around here it's looking quite light but what I think I'll do is finish this hair and come back and show you what it looks like all together so you don't have to watch me doing it all because it might be a little bit boring um so I will be back in literally a second hi guys so I'd literally I've just finished repeating the same process as I did on this side and the hair is finished so I have done that in I would say the other video a bit of talking was about half an hour um it's probably taking me about 10 minutes to do the rest. Um, I've got a little bit of bleeding around, but I'm going to fix that with some um, pencil shading when I shade the skin. I'm just going to base the skin now in just quite a nice, um, probably a light skin tone maybe. 
um, and add some pencil shading to her skin and I'll do her wings and her eyes the same colour and she will probably be done and in fact I may do the wings in this colour just to see what it's like. Um, I think I love this colour actually. BT2 is mint blue which was I think the skin colour of my mermaid so yeah I'm probably going to do that and make them a little bit sparkly get some um, stickles on it but I hope that was useful it was a little bit of a cheat because I did use this pen but um, obviously it can be done with markers these three markers do come in um, the well the illustrator and the classic so classic classic um so you can achieve that same effect with them i am just totally lazy and i do prefer blending with a brush pen but give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that i loved working on this page already so i'm excited to see how she's going to turn out and i will see you all in the next one thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit like leave me a comment and i will see you in the next one adios <laughs>